welcome to this second video of our series on Genesis chapter 1 to 11. In this second video we will read the first episode, Genesis chapter 1 verse 1, until Genesis chapter 2 verse 4a, which means the first half of verse 4. Now, I will have no time, that, I don't have the time to read that with you, but I would strongly suggest that you read it once before you watch the video. So this text is the creation of, of God, uh, of, the, of the whole universe by God in seven days. And it starts with a description. In the beginning, when God created the heavens and the earth, the earth was formless and void, and darkness covered the face of the deep, while a wind from God swept over the face of the waters. These are the two first verses of the Bible. So the first verse is really a title. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. This is, means that He created everything. In Hebrew, where, when you want to say everything, poetically, you usually to take two of the opposite things. So heavens and earth. It's not so much heaven as heaven and earth as earth, but everything. And it's, we think of creation as creation out of nothing. But it's really here we have kind of a pile of things that are all uh, in a total mess, the best idea I could, I could, the image I could use would be a teenager's room. When you think of a teenager's room, this is exactly the uh, formless void described here. So there's a lack of order at the beginning. And what is God doing, going to do? He's going to do a series of transformation that will put order into that. And that series of transformation will take six days. In the three first days, God creates spaces. And in the three last days of those six days, He puts furniture in the spaces. So on the first day, He separates between day and night. He creates light and He divides it from darkness. On the second day, He, makes, he creates an air pocket. Let the water from above be gathered under the, the firmament and the water from below. And on the third day, he creates the earth and vegetation. So this, these are the spaces that are created in the three first days. In the, if you compare it on day four, compared to day one, when there was day, day and night, he creates the sun, the moon, and the stars. So he's putting furniture in the day and in the night. And in, during the second day, he created the heavens and the seas. What does he create on the fifth day? He creates the birds of the air and the fish of the sea. So there's a, 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 a reference between day two and day five. On day three, he created the land and vegetation. On day six, he created the animals and the human being. Now it's very important the human being has a special role because he is the only one that comes from above. It's not the earth that created the human beings. It's God who said, let us make humankind in our image, in our likeness. And it's the only creation or creature that has a mission with regards to what uh, was created by God before. So in a way, it's, it's God creating everything and entrusting that creation to humanity. We didn't do a great job on that, but we still have that mission to take care of God's creation, to make sure that the job that God did and is still making, creating the world, that is having order, be, being stronger than disorder, we are supposed to continue doing that. And the result is the day of rest, which is the Saturday, the seventh day, where God blesses time and there's plenty of time to read, to be holy and to thank God for His creation. So basically this is the big structure of these seven days of creation. Thank you.